Hey everyone, welcome back in to a uh, Tuesday night already, already, for the edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather. And today we had lots of sunshine, clear skies, and for all it was a really beautiful day across most of the interior. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. Let's take a look at our photograph for tonight. This one was sent in by Carmen Polanco. Sky is on fire. You can see obvious, obviously why that picture was taken and was titled that. A beautiful shot there from Carmen. And as always, if you have a photograph that you'd like to share with us, send it to photos at ktvf11.com. What a beautiful photograph. Today's high, 39. The low last night, 26. The record high, 61 in 1938. 15 below for the overnight record low in 1965. Your sunrise and sunset, about 9 hours and 12 minutes. That's a loss of 6 minutes from yesterday. Here's our satellite and radar again. You can see a little bit of moisture across to the south of the state, or for the most part across the Gulf of Alaska, but more rain falling across southeast Alaska. And that's about it. Not too much going on. On our map, again, the rain is reflected on the map. As you can see, showers around Juneau, heavier rain at Ketchikan, 55 degrees there. Lots of sunshine around the <clears throat> Anchorage area, 47 degrees. The same for Kodiak, 47 degrees. And partly cloudy skies, cloudy skies along the Aleutian chain. And up and down the west coast, temperatures pretty consistent around 38 degrees at Nome. But boy, north of the Brooks Range, 19 degrees at Barrel and only 28 degrees at Fort Yukon. Lower 48 weather, we're looking at this. Uh, again, showers across the Pacific Northwest. Warming back up around San Francisco, not a bad day for Las Vegas and Phoenix. Warming back up again across Dallas, too. A little shower activity going on there. Denver at 72 degrees. Minneapolis uh, looking at partly cloudy skies and 69. Over the eastern half of the country, looking at sunshine over the northeast. New York 71 degrees. More sunshine across the deep south. And our satellite and radar showing a, a good flow of moisture and some showers working across the Chicago area. Well, out to the uh, to the west, we're looking at a lot more rain intensifying. This storm system is the one that brought the flash flooding to Las Vegas. And as you can see, for tomorrow, it looks like downpours are expected all the way from southern parts of Texas up through New Mexico into Colorado and even over into Kansas. And it's all because the jet stream is taking a big drop down to the south, helping to enhance that situation. Well, pleasant conditions are expected over the eastern half of the country. Well, it's time once again for our kids' weather. And all this week, we're talking with the kids from Denali Elementary School. Here's a young lady with a picture she drew with her and her father. Hello, my name is Amina from Denali Elementary, Mr. Keener's class. And I'm going to tell you about my picture. When me and my dad went fishing, it began to rain. It, it was so hard. Thus, then it began to slow. The sun started to set and I saw a moose. Thank you, Mina, for that picture. And thanks to Mount McKinley Bank. Tomorrow night, a young man will be here with a unique weather question for us. Our forecast for the rest of the state for tomorrow, northern sections, flurries of Barrow, partly cloudy in Nome, cloudy skies for Fort Yukon. Here in the interior, we're looking at, for the most part, uh, mostly cloudy skies in Fairbanks, rain and snow showers at Delta Junction, and flurries for Healy. Over southeast Alaska, the rains are going to continue. And those should be letting up a little bit over the Ketchikan area. While out to the southwest, we're looking at uh, partly cloudy skies for Bethel. Rain showers in Cold Bay and cloudy skies at Kodiak. And down around the south central sections, partly cloudy skies for Anchorage, cloudy skies in Homer, and isolated showers at Valdez. And our forecast for the remainder of the night, chilly, 22 degrees for the overnight low. Partly cloudy skies, a little morning fog possible. Tomorrow's forecast, 40 degrees, morning fog, then mostly cloudy skies. And the five-day outlook, as you see here, temperatures pretty chilly. Overnight lows dropping down to the low 20s once again. And we're looking at uh, not needing precipitation in the forecast. That's the good news. It looks like for the most part, we're going to be looking at uh, just partly cloudy to cloudy skies. And we're looking at right now at some young ladies that have joined us. And this is uh, the group, a daisy group of some sort, right? Daisy group? That's is what they're that called, right? daisies, right? And they're all dressed up for Halloween. Yeah, they're all, Absolutely. They're all ready to go. We've got the Minions. Uh-huh. And then we've got Elsa. Elsa. And yeah. tell us what your costume is. She's Morticia. Morticia? From the Adams family. Oh, wow. A movie yeah. of it. You got a movie of it, too? <laughs> oh, that's a pretty cool movie. Those are great costumes, guys. And, and of it, course, and hold it, up your, uh, your, your and little badge thing here. And it comes with a song. It comes with a song, too. Oh. oh what do you know? That wow. is very special. Well, I think thanks, I know guys. It. Yeah, thank you for showing up. We always love to 
I think this is a record for how many people yeah. we've actually had on set. And we had 30 guys who are dressed up as football players. <laughs> Very good. good. <laughs> All right, that will wrap up this edition of the Fairbanks Evening News. We are glad you could join us. But tonight on NBC and Ivy News, more about the rides of the unconventional first-time candidate, Ben Carson. That's up next with Lester Holt. All right, be sure to join us here six days a week at 6 and 11, or of course, online anytime at webcenter11.com. All right, from all of us here at the News Center, including wait. the Minions, Morticia, wait. and Elsa, have a great night. Wave, can you wave? Oh, sure.